with shears? Bro, stop, bro, stop. What's the plan today? Okay, so there are kind of two schools of thought for today. We can either, once our daily is done, of course, we can either keep questing and just quest up a storm, keep pushing to like 250 quest points, bunch of quests to do, a lot of them I'm not really looking forward to. The other idea is we go to ED3, we can get like 90 something magic and 90 something def, and then we can start on a Hellwer. So kind of two very different ideas. I could see us landing somewhere in the middle. We'll do a bit of both. Also, I think we get a dart today, don't we? We do. Okay, that is daily challenges completed, which means we are now level 42 archaeology. We've unlocked Everlight, which is pretty cool having not actually proper trained the skill, really. And we are going to collect ourselves a beautiful death touch dart that I think we should go throw to Calphite King. Before I check the start of the Calphite King, I want to thank Opera GX for being the sponsor of this video. They're a longtime supporter of the channel, and Opera GX has quickly become the primary browser that I use for everything. Opera GX has a ton of features that you just don't find with other browsers, and I wanted to show you a couple of my favorites. If you're like me and you keep far too many tabs open, check out the Hot Tabs Killer. It allows you to sort by CPU and RAM usage, so you can get rid of any tabs that are eating up too many resources with the click of a button. Another feature that's pretty cool is the ability to turn on dark mode to the entire browser. This means that when I'm playing RuneScape in the middle of the night, there is a 0% chance of getting flashbanged by a wiki page. Another feature I really like is GX Profiles that allow you to create a custom browser suited specifically to whatever task you want to accomplish, whether that's for private browsing, productivity, performance, or in my instance, streaming. As soon as I've made a custom profile with the specific settings that I want, it'll show up on my taskbar. So for me, red for browsing, purple for streaming. If you're considering switching to Opera, they also have an easy import tool, allowing you to instantly import your browser settings, bookmarks, cookies, and extensions from other browsers like Chrome. This makes the switch absolutely seamless, so if you're thinking about trying it out, it'll take you no time at all to get set up. Click on the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment to try out Opera GX for free. Thanks again, Opera, for sponsoring the video. But now, we have a dart to chuck. What if we get a- we're not gonna get a Dragor. I've never had KK luck on any account ever. This is not gonna be the start. Like, I'm- I've literally- it's impossible. I've never once had good luck at this boss. Yeah, that's fine. I'm actually good with sharks, though. Sharks are pretty hype. Wait, look how much they heal! Wait, wait, I'm taking all of those. That is level 63 in the farming skill. One of the brand is Dragmary Rex, but also one singular level away from being able to access player farm spiders, which is gonna be our primary farming training method pretty much all the way up until Chinchampas. So anyway, that's really, really big. That means we can actually start doing POF every day. Time to learn the tales of the God Wars, which also involves, I think our first Krill kill. Does this Sammy rope bottom work? I'm assuming it will, right? We, uh, we take this. All right, let's get some kill count. It's time for our first real PVMing. Wait, dude, Mance has some life points. Holy. It's a bit of a chat. I'm not going to lie. There we go. Dude, my G-Staff hitting 2Ks. That's going to have to end at some point. That is that is not an acceptable amount of damage. Also, if you're an Iron Man and you want to get into Zami, pop Vampora and kite, and it's really, really easy. If you don't kite and you're just tanking, you will die probably very easily. But and there we go. First Zami kill on the brand new hardcore and we got an effigy that's quite fun i guess i think we can do one more for good luck that is our second and final kill at this blast because we'll go back when we have higher stats and it will be even easier and we get we got thirteen thousand coins good stuff all right let's go fill our uh, other two tomes all righty second barrows run on the account i believe what do you got free boss that is whelming very 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 whelming well that was a lot of fun camera shake is you know what we're gonna disable camera shake while i'm in here i don't know where to find it but camera shake off <laughs> well that appears to have worked and there we go mini quest complete we take those um magic lamp that's skill probably slayer right prayer or slayer you know what, actually? 30k. We'll do prayer. That is level 59 prayer. Actually, gonna be two levels and one of the recs for as an address quest because that quest has recs that are very, very low. Uh, next stop is Archgazer. I'm splashing so much. I will say, I'm surprised I'm splashing this much. So we only have to do four kills. We're still gonna do it, but like, holy moly. I've got 70k DPM. I mean, to be fair, 
that means our hell kill is three minutes. That's not terrible. Alrighty, assuming I can land a hit. This is gonna be the last kill of our Reaper assignment. This could be zero Reaper points, but it is a good chunk of Slayer XP. So we are, you know, glad we got it done. This wasn't the greatest experience of my life, but hey, we got some battle staves. We got a page, 15k Slayer XP, no problem at all. Okay, so I can't do that one because my cooking level's too low. I can't do that one because no. These are some real quests, but I think it's probably time that we should get amongst it and do some questing. Like, I really want to get ready for PBMing, but the, the questing is more important for right now. So I think that's the plan. Is RuneScape a fun game? No. So you need to get a squirt juice. Am I going to tilt out of my mind doing Cersei's Garden? Probably, right? Get in! Wait, I need more. Wait, should we try and be a Giga Chad and do it in one click? The way a bot would? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Okay, a little further, a little further, a little further. Now. Just built a little different. <laughs> that was actually a great time. Okay, let's go start this stupid quest. <laughs> Place the jug in the pot. Wait, this is really good XP. What in the world? That is 55 in the cooking skill command right there. Okay, we're now at 100%. Beautiful. Check progress on the pyramid journal. Completion 100%. And then back to Leela and we're done the quest. That was actually a really fun quest. I thoroughly enjoyed that. The XP was good. It was fun. It was fast. It was intuitive. Honestly, like, I, I would give that quest a solid, like, at least an A. And we got ourselves a beautiful quest point. All right, next quest on the list is A Tale of Two Cats. Put the cat ears on for the quest. Okay, fine. Like, you guys would agree that it's kind of worse. That I did it for free? Because at least you can rationalize. It's like, well, you know, he got, he got paid. You know? Nope, not me. Just, uh... Just did it for free because there is something wrong with me. Holy sh With shears? Bro! Stop! Bro! Stop! Okay, so I have to now wait for these to grow. So we gotta do something for 25 minutes that is not this. I love that people are like, there aren't enough bears in game. And they were like, you know what we could do? We could just drop like a hundred bears in the same spot. And then they did that. That is 60 construction. Let's get it. That is level 67 in the hunter skill. Okay, so now we can talk to him and be like, hey, congrats on your chores. That is a tale of two cats quest complete. That was not my favorite quest in the game. But uh, hey, I will take 5k Ripple XP. Always, always down for that. And uh, yeah, on to the next one. And I can finally take off the stupid ow, cat ears that are giving me a headache. Next quest was the Great Brain Robbery. We may as well. Yeah, we may as well do it. So I have to kill the sword bones until I have three bell jars, brain tongs, cranial clamp, and skull staples. And there we go. Wait, no way. I just got 87 magic in here. <laughs> that is, uh, that's funny, man. We'll take it. All right, team. It's time to fight the barrel chest. I will say he doesn't appear to be doing a whole lot. I feel like I may have overprepared for this. Oh my... Wait, that was like ultra instinct. Thank you so much for your anchor that I will surely be using to debuff hard to hit bosses. In the year 2022, quest complete. I feel like we made, you know, fairly short work of it. And... Here we go. Nice. Plus lamp. Give me the herb XP. And we are now level 62 herb lore, which means... Uh, we are one level away from being able to make our own super restores, which is going to be extremely helpful. Wait, chat, our next quest is Orcs Rift. That's a great quest. Dude, this area is just... Look at that vertical! Okay, time for the final battle. So I believe what I'm doing here is I am planting the teeth, and then the teeth are going to fight for me. I think is how it works. Wait, watch this Ditto. Ready? Bang. Wait! I didn't think he was supposed to be able to die. I don't think that was supposed to happen. That is Fairy Tale Part 3 Battle Lurk Swift, which means this entire quest series is now complete. We're on 239 quest points. 
And we got ourselves a beautiful thieving level, now level 57, getting closer and closer to the level we need for safe cracking. I'm glad we did that. That was really good. Magic watering can so we could just infinitely water stuff. That was a good quest. That was quite fun. Honestly, I enjoyed that. Okay, what's next on the list? Inokra's Lament. Do we like this quest? Is this more quest points than you have on your main? It is, but could you chill? Could you relax, perhaps? Bro, look at that. What a beauty. That is an Ocarina's Lament complete. A beautiful fire making level, which is, you know, obviously why we did the quest in the first place. And two quest points as well, taking our total up to 241. That is one other extra ritual of the Majorat, by the way, if you were wondering. Which, speaking of, just to do a, a quick little update on how we're doing there. Okay, it's not great. What do I got that sleeps though? Actually not bad. We're missing two quests. 